Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zahn Tal and I work for Reboar Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screen, uh, screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's VAR 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Revit 2016 and the Steel Connections extension <clears throat> within uh, the software. Now, the Autodesk Revit Extensions is a separate application that you have to uh, obtain from your Autodesk Accounts website. It used to be called Subscription. So go into www.autodesk.com forward slash account, log in as either the contract administrator or a user who has the right to download the extensions. Once you find it, you can select it, download it, and install it. When you're finished installing it, it will be located here under Extensions, Autodesk Revit Extensions, and you'll see Steel Connections. Um, when you select that command, <clears throat> there are a couple of choices right now, Beam to Column End Plate and Column Base. We're going to work with the Column Base command. The way these commands work is you have to select the object first before the initiating the command, otherwise it says it doesn't work. So here in a 3D structural model view, you can see this one's already been created. I want to do one for here. So I would select this column, go back over to extension, go back over to steel connection, and click column base. It'll bring up the dialog box that gives you all the options that you need to specify things such as <clears throat> uh, for columns, plate, anchor, wedge, and welds. Uh, for example, here under column, you have information as to column section height. All of this is grayed out because that data is already being pulled from that three-dimensional BIM family object. Uh, column stiffening, you can specify without brackets, simple stiffening, stiffening with trapezoid plate. As you select it, you'll see the changes. Okay. <clears throat> so let's say <clears throat> we do... Let's do simplified um, stiffening. If we go over to the plate, we can specify here for the length, the width, the thickness, and the material. So if we switch this to, say, steel, we can switch this length to, say, I don't know, 3 feet 6, the width to be 2 feet 6, the thickness to be <clears throat> 3 sixteenths of an inch. Okay? And then... <clears throat> Additional features too, if you click the check mark for column base, uh, you can put the length, width, thickness, and material information here as well. Okay, I won't worry about that for now. Under stiffeners, you can select that and you can specify what kind of stiffeners and they have a great picture uh, representation of how things look. So let's say I just pick this one. And again, you can specify all the data that you need. Go to the anchoring and specify all the anchoring information that you need as well. So maybe you need three rows instead, and three columns instead. Uh, <clears throat> and again, at the end of the day, although you're the uh, initially the architectural designer creating your Revit model, um, you may be the structural engineer. If you are the structural engineer, then you know this data better than the design initial designers. So again, specify all the data that you need here. Uh, if you need any wedges as well, and if you do, click in here to specify what kind you want and specify the section size and the material. Okay, I'm going to say no for now. <clears throat> and welds as well. When you're all said and done, you hit OK. The software will go do its thing, and it will build the connection that uh, you've specified. Now, when you're all said and done, there you go. This is what it looks like. Turn my thin lines off, and you can see that connection. Now, if you select it, it's just a single family. It's not individual families. If I click Edit Family, <clears throat> you can see what it looks like here. And so it's an extrusion, extrusion, so on and so forth. And it has all the uh, information for things such as materials. So it's, it's fairly bare bone, and it's face-based, as you can see. Each one is unique, OK? So although, for example, here, this one looks like the same as this one, if I select it, it'll say connection base 269697. If I look at this one, it's a different number. It's 87, not 97. So they're both 
they may look identical and they may be used in the same manner, but in reality, they're individual. So if you decide to make a family change to one of them, it will only affect that one. And that's it. That's working with Revit 2016 and the steel connections for column base. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.